The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the Saab Lab ServiceNow CMDB module for vRealize Automation. A centralized management database, or CMDB, is a vital component of any cloud architecture. With a CMDB, an organization can plan, deliver, operate, govern, and prioritize their services. A CMDB can give you the ability to make well-informed decisions regarding your environment and give you accurate insight into your ever-changing infrastructure. The data contained within must be constantly kept accurate to provide value and the relevant application, operational and business level data must reflect appropriate relationships. The value of a CMDB correlates to the accuracy and the quality of the data contained within. Common goals most organizations strive for in a CMDB implementation is automating the data management providing a flexible way to map relevant data, and the ability to adapt mappings and reduce the risk of losing data integrity as the CMDB matures or schemas change. With the Solve Labs ServiceNow CMDB module, all three of these goals are now attainable. The Solve Labs ServiceNow CMDB module for vRealize Automation leverages the data inherently available to vRealize Automation in regards to the catalog items you're provisioning. VRealize Automation already has the most common information as well as operational or business level data necessary for creating one or more configuration items, or CIs, and their relationships in a CMDB. The Solve Labs ServiceNow module for VRealize Automation can take that data and fully automate its population into the CMDB without any custom coding and regardless of CMDB schema customization. The Solve Labs ServiceNow module for VRealize Automation is comprised of two parts. As seen here, the first part is an endpoint. You define your URL, your ServiceNow version, and whether or not you're using the VMware ITSM plugin in addition to this one. We'll touch on that module in an additional video that shows how the SovLab ServiceNow module interfaces with a VMware one. For now, we'll leave that set to false. The second part consists of configuring the module itself. Here you'll notice that we have the ability to choose to use an import set if you prefer. We'll cover the import set method, also known as the web service method, in another video. Otherwise, you can use the direct to table method by populating a JSON template with sample templates provided for Windows and Linux. In this template, you can see that we're creating a Linux server CI as well as the related VMware instance CI. In particular, notice the use of variables in the double curly braces. These properties are manipulatable by the Solve Labs template language and are populated by the data inherent to vRealize Automation. In the instance of the Linux server CI, notice that we're populating things like the server name, CPU count, storage size, allocated RAM, and more. The power of this integration is the ability to take this data and easily populate your CIs as servers are provisioned. As an example, I've added a couple of custom vRealize automation properties called app underscore name and business underscore group to the template in the comments field. When the server provisions, you'll see the values of the properties populated in the comments field. Let's see this module in action. Let's start by requesting a server in vRealize Automation. It will be a simple Linux server. When the server transitions to a successful and provisioned state, I can log into my ServiceNow instance. By going to the Linux option under the Server section of Configuration, I see the server I created. Let's explore further. If I choose the CI of my server, I see the fields referenced in my JSON template from the previous step. We can see the host name, the DNS domain, the IP address, the storage allocation, and the like. This is a simplified example, but using the Saab Labs template language, I can be as granular as I want in populating these fields. As mentioned previously, the two custom vRealize automation properties called app underscore name and business underscore group have had their values populated in the comments field. It's important to note that this is just a sample data population and it's possible to update any field on any table and drive relationships via the Saab Labs CMDB JSON template definition. Next, let's deprovision a server and note the outcome. Once the virtual machine is destroyed in vRealize Automation, I can see that the record is removed in service now. Notice in the JSON template, the Linux CI is set to delete when the server is destroyed. Notice that the VMware instance is set to be changed to terminated on deletion. If I return to ServiceNow and check the virtual machine instance in VMware, under configuration, my CI is there and marked in a terminated state. It's important to note that this is flexible enough to support archiving or deletion of a server instance. Let's recap the features of the SovLab ServiceNow module for vRealize Automation. Flexible mapping via JSON-based templates which can utilize dynamic or static values in VRA metadata. For example, the use of VRA custom properties. Multiple operations are permitted such as insert, update, or delete on multiple related or independent tables using the direct-to-table method. 
CMDB configurations can be applied generically at the compute resource or business group level, or more specifically at the blueprint level. We provide the ability to address varying complexity of ServiceNow CMDB designs or customizations. Customers can get started with the included templates for a vanilla ServiceNow environment or utilize the import set for advanced ServiceNow driven customization. Multiple ServiceNow endpoints and configurations can exist in parallel, allowing for isolated testing and promotion without disruption. The SoftLab ServiceNow module for vRealize Automation is compatible with the VMware ITSM plugin and is also compatible with ServiceNow Discovery. Any VRA infrastructure as a service type is supported, for example, vSphere or AWS. There are included ServiceNow schema sample templates for Linux and Windows VMs based on ServiceNow and VRA versions. Instantaneous CMDB inserts and updates occur during time of provisioning and deprovisioning. We support flexible deprovisioning and cleaning options as well as the ability to utilize import sets or the use of direct-to-table. We support multi-tenant designs. We can perform update or removal from any number of related tables based on configuration. We support multiple versions of both ServiceNow and vRealize Automation. Installation or upgrading is a simple two-step process. For more information on this and all of our other vRealize Automation modules, please visit SobLabs.com.